All right, now we gotta try to salvage this mail. What's up, modern steaders? Today, we're gonna be doing a grilling video, grilling up some of our pasture-raised pork. One of the reasons we love raising our animals on pasture here is the quality of the meat just tastes so good. We hardly have to season our meats here just because the flavoring from raising our animals on pasture. I mean, that's the whole reason why we do what we do over here is so we can raise some high quality foods to feed our family. What are you having fun doing? Being crazy. Nothing wrong with that. Boy, it looks like you're right out of, right off of the Oregon Trail. Uh-huh. You came from the Oregon Trail? Uh-uh. No? Looks like you did. You getting ready for a play? Uh-huh. Speaking of homegrown food, there's gonna be the Homegrown Food Summit coming up on June 12th, guys. I don't know if you've watched that or not before, but this is the third year doing it. We were able to watch some of the videos last year and check it out, it was really awesome. This year they're gonna be having 38 speakers teaching us how to grow our own high quality homegrown food and herbs. That's awesome guys. I'm gonna leave the links in the description down below so you guys can go over and check out the Homegrown Food Summit and sign up for it. It's free for seven days, it runs 24 hours a day. It's a really great awesome learning experience. There's so many people there, there's gonna be Joel Salatin, Sally Fallon, Justin Rhodes. Here's some onion. Hey there, Miss Oregon Trail. Hi. You're crazy. Our fancy dancy little grill, guys. Get that cooking while we go get the pork chops ready. It might not be much for a grill, but I'll tell you what, it does a great job. Hey, so give us a little sneak peek of your play. What's your line? I wrote about the river crossing too. Here's what I wrote. Today something terrible but wonderful happened. As our wagon crossed the river, my baby brother slipped off the wagon into the water. I reached out and pulled him to me. <sighs> Ma and Pa hugged my brother and me. I told Pa that I was, that I was scared stiff. Pa said that's what courage is all about. Awesome. I think you got it nailed. Let's go check on some potatoes. And of course, guys, it's raining again. I wish you could smell how good these smell. Well, I guess so much for growing. That just quit working on us and I can't get it going. We're gonna have to go inside and cook dinner in the house. Well, that grilling video ain't gonna happen. Well, let's see. The grill decided to poop out on us. We're gonna cook them in the oven. Why? Why is that doing? It's not doing anything. All right, now we gotta try to salvage this mail. Just want to make sure we got our pan nice and warm. We're going to turn it down. And then these being our pasture raised pork. We find cooking with pasture raised food, you don't need to season it that much. 
we just put a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder on one side, and that's more than enough. The meat has plenty of flavor from the way they were raised. Corn smells delicious, guys. Olivia, you're gonna love it. Uh -huh. Pork chops smell good, too. minutes and it will be ready. How is the corn? Well. Oh, I think we did a pretty good job salvaging dinner. It still tastes good, right? Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be a grilling collab that we were doing with the Frugal Family Food from Amanda over at the Fundamental Home Stead and then Tangie the Caver's wife. So you good got corn, corn on your face. Oh, that was good oh, corn. It's cute. You know when it's good and when it's on your face. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So we might not be able to do it on the grill. But we did it and it came out good. I think the best part about doing the pasture raised pork is you don't need any seasoning really on it. It just tastes good the way it is. Mm -hmm. Right, Olivia? Mm -hmm. And then what's even better about having corn on the cob? What are we going to do with the corn on the cob afterwards? Feed it to the piggies! That's right. We'll bring everybody along with us, right? Mm -hmm. Show them how much fun that is. You want to get it? Is it hot? Um, no. Set. 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 Yeah, let's go see the pigs. It's cold out. They're coming a running. I can see them. There's one for you, and one for you, and another one for you, another one for you, and you guys can share that Break one. that one in half. Which one? The one okay. you just gave them. I'm just you joking. You don't have to. How do you break it? Oh, you might. There you go. That's how you break it. What do you think? They like corn? Yeah. Wipe on my pants. Huh? Wipe your hands on my pants, not on my vest. Oh, they're switching. They're eating each other's corn. But at least it's even. That's right. <laughs> I think Mr. Biggs is saying, why didn't you give me some corn? Uh -huh. Why didn't you give me some corn? <laughs> I wanted to thank Amanda over at the Fundamental Home and Tangie, the caver's wife again, for doing the frugal family food collaboration and June is the month of grilling we have go for green living doing it next Friday night so check out his channel all the links are gonna be down below in the video description and we'll see you guys right back here next time at Lemon Acres, a guide to modern home setting self-sufficiency and freedom You take your corn. I think they have too much fun. Mm -hmm.